Hey everyone, how's it going? It's John over here turning wrenches. How's everyone doing today? I didn't leave you hanging. This is going to be episode two of uh, this Troy built Tough Cut 220 with the 6.75 horsepower engine. Uh, last episode yesterday, I was uh, going to clean the carburetor, but I was going to wait till the next day to do it because it was getting later on at the at night and stuff and I had to go to work the next morning at 4 a.m. There, so uh, I'm going to clean the carburetor today. Uh, before I turned the camera on, I went and uh, got the ultrasonic cleaner warming up. It's at, uh, about ready to be ready to go through and put the carburetor on here. Uh, I'm wearing my jacket today because yesterday I was wearing shorts and a t-shirt and it was a little cool but not bad. And right now it is... Um, 52 degrees outside. You know, it feels a little breezier than that. Been a lot of wind here today. So, uh, I got, uh, supposedly, I got one person that's going to be buying the twin of this mower almost. Uh, I'm selling it for $85. It's supposed to be here shortly around 3.30. It's now 3.16. So, uh, probably be cutting in this video short if uh, they show up here. So I got it out there ready and stuff, and I made sure it started up and self-propulsion works and all that. So selling it for $85 there, uh, firm on my price, and uh, some guy's going to come and pick it up here. So uh, I'm going to work on this one next, we're going to get this carburetor cleaned down, and we'll take the cover off, and we'll see if there's any surprises inside there. So uh, without further ado, let's get wrenching on this uh, Troy build again. Let's get it running. Okay, there's the ultrasonic cleaner. It's, uh, it's at 48 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna let the ultrasonic cleaner do its thing and clean it up. I probably could have cleaned it up better, but that's all right. I'll let it do its thing here and get the dirt off of there itself. I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop the carburetor in there. There's that. I'm going to drop everything in there, but the float, floats floating. And I'll throw that in there. Throw the needle in there. And I'll throw the seat in there. And I'll take this off here because the gasket, the gasket, still good. It don't look too bad in there, but I'll let it go and clean it too. In there, so uh, it's at 49 degrees Celsius. We'll put it at 30 minutes, real quick. And uh, I'm just working on the other mower. Sorry, I had to cut the camera off a little quick here, but uh. I thought I was going to sell that mower. The guy showed up. He mulched the, uh, used it for my gr the grass. And uh, this is funny. Uh, this is a first for me. The guy used it, mulched a little bit of my grass. He asked me, he goes, where does the grass go? I said, it's the mulcher. It doesn't have a bag for it. Then he was complaining about the self -prop uh, propulsion. He was claiming it wasn't working, which it was, but it wasn't moving backwards with him so he wanted one that was well, a side discharge and stupid me I wasn't thinking and I had that $50 Murray one that does a side discharge I should have just sold them now and got it out of here but uh, I'll sell it but it was just funny though because he wanted one that was a side discharge not a mulcher uh, I personally like the mulch more than I do a side discharge but uh you know, hey, people got their preference of what to do. So, uh, I got the, that, uh, that, uh, cooking there in the stove, per se. So, uh, we'll start on this. We'll start cleaning some stuff up on this, uh, Troy belt. See if we can get this thing to go, okay? So, uh, let's get it set up here. Okay. Like I said, that was my funny story right there. I mean... That's the first. 
having somebody sit there and say, uh, well, um, Yeah, that was funny. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get this tank off here. I'm going to have to clean it anyway. There. Where's that out? Get that off of there. I'll clean that in a minute. So, let's get the... 5 16 bolt out of here for the oil dipstick. Cletus, you dipstick. I'm wondering, I noticed something, and uh, I'll show you guys on it here. Uh, I think this is a repowered Troy belt, and the reason I say that. Is that the engine is a 97 according to the cover? So, and I notice there's a different brake system hooked up on here. I gotta get off of here too. But, uh, yeah, the engine cover says 97 on the year date so that almost makes this 20 something years old so I'm just wondering if this cover was something different it might be the the right engine it might be this a different cover for it which I kind of like this cover that's neat but I gotta get this brake mechanism thing off of here because it's not letting me move the dipstick out of the way for the wind ahead of time. So, let's see, there's a way to zip this off of here. Oh, it just snaps on here. that snapped off of there real quick right okay I got it for some reason that cover is just weird I'll have to figure out what's going on with that but, uh, all right get these 3 8 bolts off of here difficult one. torque them down a little too tight. There we go. Alright. The moment you guys have been waiting for. Let's see if we got any uh, surprises. That's not what I expected. There's that cover right there. There's 
now I can get it off of there. It's kind of weird. Now I got it off. Okay. A lot of twigs and lions and tigers and bears over there. So it's gonna need a real, real good cleaning. Cleaning. So, I gotta put an O-ring on that carburetor because it's missing one. So I'm wondering if this thing is a pressure washer engine at one time. Hey, if it runs, it runs. Oh, I also gotta fix the muffler because it's a, uh, the muffkin's uh, missing a, uh, bolt on there. Well, I, see, I see, I think I got some of the parts, so, uh, all right, uh, let me, uh, get this thing cleaned off here real quick. Put you guys on a time lapse. something on this I, well, I don't want to take it apart really again to do it but I'll, I'll explain it to you anyway here um, whoever had this mower before then I don't know if it's the owner or, or who it was but they had took the muffler where the bolts go on they broke one of the pieces off you're able to put they put a bigger bolt there I was able to get 11 7 16 bolt there to fit on the top one because it was missing one but I couldn't put the clips on there like you could clip them on there just in case it backs off so uh, unless I take it off of I want a, another one I don't know yet I'll worry about that later so we're gonna put the carburetor all up back on I cleaned it At least I think I cleaned it. Well, kind of noticed something already off the bat wrong. Uh, I don't know if 
I can show you guys real quick. Try to get it as close as I can. If you guys can see it, that seat is upside down. I didn't notice that until now because the ridges are supposed to be on the inside of it, not the outside. So right there, the ridges are uh, in wrong. Now I got a bunch of needle uh, seats for these things. This carburetor should be good. I don't know if I can pick that out. I'm going to try it real quick and pick this out, then we'll put it back together. Well, I got the needle. I mean, I got the seat out of here. Unfortunately enough, it's no good. So, in my carb kit a long time ago back, I uh, got some needles and seats. I need to order some more seats just in case I have to rebuild them. But this one came with a new needle. That needle looks alright. It's metal. I might just... Well, just should I switch it out with the rubber tip? I think I'll just stick with the metal one. Okay. So this side, the ridge side goes upside down. So, I have a pick. I normally take. Let me grab it real quick. I normally have a pick I take. And I'll drop it down in there. Can't find my straight pick, so I have to use this one. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put it in here, ridge side down. Put it in there. And you take a 13 64th drill bit, the end of it, and you pack it down like this. The ones I got for Harbor Freight. I think this carburetor is alright. The gasket should be alright. So I'll save that needle for a rainy day. Now I just gotta get the, in the gasket. O ring gasket I'm gonna need. Uh, everything's been blown. I blow, blew all this all out already, so. There's that. There's the float pin. Let's see. All right, sealing. Sealy. That bowl should be all right. I cleaned it out. Should be good. It's got little bumps and bruises, but it'll still work for its intended purposes. So, here's the gasket. Go ahead and put that back on there. Blew out the main jet. So, it should be good gold in there. Go ahead and screw that down in there. And, uh,. Take my half inch socket. There we go. Let's try it one more time. Getting air. There. there. Perfect. All right. Now the time to put it on 
the mower now. Okay. Now let's put the start putting everything back together here again. So uh, got the carburetor. Clean out the gas tank. Um, still need to um, um, what you call it. Still gotta cut some fuel line for it on all that. So uh, should be okay on this. Hopefully, nothing can get this engine to go. It'd be nice. So. We'll see. I was thinking about because I had a different air filter cover making an auto choke instead. I don't know. I'll just do the primer right now. We'll see. If worse comes to worse, I can always switch it to auto choke. Because yeah, I got the cover for it. It's in my uh, storage bin outside here. So, that's. Uh, and we'll see if we can get this thing to fire up any. So, uh. Am I missing anything? I'm missing the O ring. I forgot. This didn't have the O ring. Oh, I forgot the O ring. Let me go grab the O ring. I forgot it. Okay, I got the O ring now. Okay. That was one that came off that other carbur carburetor I had. There, so uh, there we go. Now put it in this dead bend, like so. Put it on the carburetor, like so. And get these started here. seal. Alright. Got that. I blew off all the top here. It should, should be good on that. This thing off camera I went and sprayed it. So I'm get that back going again. And so uh, should be good on that. Put this back on. No, there was no surprises. Thought maybe we'd get a rat's nest. The way it was looking, I thought it was a rat's nest in here. But I'm not gonna put that cover back on for that uh thing because there's no reason for that to be covered up there like that. So all right, smaller bolts in the back. Coiled back on. Uh, we've got to put the gas gas tank back on. Oh wait a minute. We've got to put the dipstick back on. Cletus, you dipstick, you forgot to tell me to put it back on. There. I gotta switch. Switch the back to five sixteenths. Go 
to get the spacer on here. Sixteen bolts here. Put the gas tank back on. The gas tank wants to fall down. got one that wants to not cooperate with you. There we go. There we go. Gas tank's on, except for the 3 8 bolt that's there. There we go. Uh, it's got three more five sixteenths bolts to do. But I've got to cut the gas line. We need so grab my fuel bolt fuel line real quick. Out of here. I think this might be a little bit bigger. Hmm. A little bit bigger. Huh. Okay. This one feel like. There it is. Need that. Got the clamps off of here. Now this thing is old, brittle. I'll put a brand new fuel line on it. Let's see. By that much. There we go. I bought this bulk fuel line a year before last off of Amazon. Works pretty good. For what you got to use it for? One thing is though the clamps are a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. So I don't know. We'll see. Put it on here. We'll put them on here. We'll see if it works. It'll probably stretch when you put it on there. <laughs> Let's see. Unfortunately, the clamps are not going to work on it. Too small. They're a little too small for this. Okay. Might have cut the line a little too short. More fuel in line. Maybe. Thought I cut it the right length, but I think I might have to cut it a little bit sh longer.
Okay, a little bit too short. So, we're going to give it right there. give us enough to put on here. Let's take it. Let's put it on this one first. There we go. It'll be a little bit longer, but that's alright. It'll work. Okay, and the gasket's still on there. It's a good thing. So, put this on here. Get the 3 8 5 16 bolts on here now. Usually thread them by hand. You can get them started. Easier. Start with these first. All right. I'll get the rest of it together. We'll see if we can get this thing to start up after I check the oil. Okay. There we go. Now, uh, check the oil. It is a little bit down, but it's not to the ab point yet. So we're good on that. And we're going to see if this actually works before I put an air filter on and all that. And uh, it's supposed to be, you know, primed engine. I already looked underneath. Um, light adapter is a lot, set up a lot different. Than, uh, I'm used to seeing so I don't know we'll we'll see about if we can if we need to switch that out but it's got the Briggs and Stratton blade on there but I can put the blade adapter on there probably different for it so so far no leaks like I said the oil I got the spring off the brake here Well, let's give it a little bit of persuasion.
You know what? We're actually going to wait. I'll leave it at that. I'll let it run for a little bit. I'll try it again. Okay, I let it run for a little bit again. It started back up, so uh, I think we're good on it. Here, uh, I'll show you guys one more time. It'll start up. We're golden. Alright. Need. So I guess we're going to have to get an air filter. I got an air filter for it. That's not the problem. There. So I'm going to have to uh, figure out the self propulsion. Get that to go. That's our next uh, ordeal. Um, Air filter I'll put on there, and then we'll change the oil. Uh, hopefully enough, it'll be good after that. I'll see if I can get that blade off of there and sharpen it. Also, if I can. And uh, should be should be about it on this thing. And then uh, if we get the self propulsion that worked, that'll work good too. And. Uh, and stuff so be happy about that so it might be worth I don't know I'm thinking about it getting a cable for it there I know it's an older engine but hey, if it runs we'll go with it we'll roll with it there and, uh, and all that so um, yeah um, until I get a cable I might have to wait on this so I'll probably change the oil out and put the air filter on and we'll pick it back up when I get the cable for it. I'm going to see if I can find the cable for this thing. I'll look up the serial number on it, mile number and serial number on it and see how much a cable is going to cost for it there and uh, we'll go from there and see if we can get this thing going. Hopefully not the self propulsion works so, uh that'll be the next thing. So. Uh, well, I guess we'll find that out when we can. If not, it's just going to be a push mower. I'll just take the gears off, just make it a push mower. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys next time on Turning Wrenches. Make sure you guys follow me and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.